One of the traditional things that we like to do for Thanksgiving weekend is to relax, especially after all the family gatherings. And one of the best ways to relax is to watch some good throwback movies. By throwback, I kind of mean classical movies that resonate with the audience. Doesn't matter the generation, they'll get the story behind it. The Fifth Element is one of those movies that we like to watch, and it's something that we watched again recently. It's a fun, to me, fun science fiction action movie that is set 250 years in the future, so 23rd century, with the primary plot of saving the Earth and survival of mankind. It becomes the responsibility of a taxi driver who's recently retired a former special forces officer, and after a young woman falls through his cab, she was running from the police. She jumps from a building. So an evil force comes to the earth every 5,000 years, and the only way to defeat it is using the five elements of life as the main weapon. That's really what it is. You need those five elements. The standard four elements are physical, they're related to nature, and is universally agreed to be earth, water, and fire. Many ancient cultures differ on what the fifth element is, but the most common thing is the fifth element is about spirit. One of my favorite lines from the movie towards the end is, what's the use of saving life when you can see what you do with it? The movie explores the problem of corruption, misuse of power for personal gain. So what can save mankind from evil? The fifth element movie turns out to be love. It's love. Love is also known as friendship. It guides us all to be more empathetic, provides goodwill. It bonds us together through appreciation for others. It's part of your character and spirit for life. I probably like this movie so much because it's in line with why I even started Real Things Living. It's about enjoying, embracing life and loving each other and then not focusing on power and money. So what do you think about this movie? Have you seen it? I would love to get your feedback. There's one more thing that I wanted to share with you today. My next book is coming out next week. It's called, It's Fun to Run. It's an illustrated children's book. It's my first children's book. I've always wanted to do one and it was a fun process. I obviously had to hire an illustrator, but it was really, really cool. My niece was the one who uh, actually inspired me to do this. I don't have my physical um, author copy yet, but what I'm gonna do is share up my screen so you can see the image of the cover, the front cover. And isn't that cool? This was a lot of fun, a lot of work, but I really, really enjoyed the process. And it's going to be available on Amazon next week. <laughs>